having so many people going through stroke and how can lifestyle modification and coaching really help with this because not normally people ko lagta hai ki yahi hua to dawai khani padegi right most yeah. people are always trying to either read some kind of statins or whatever blood thinners you know that is what typically people do but i don't believe you are on any blood thinners right yashas actually i am a blood thinner but it's very low dose as monica was telling that it's a very a very low dosage what i am taking yeah i think it's for some time he'll be required but probably the doctors might wean him off in some time also so basically when it comes to stroke it is actually when you have a stroke then you can't really prevent or avoid medications so all you have to do is actually work on preventing the stroke now of course the way yasha said it is always known to be after the age of 60 35 uh, sorry 55 60 years of age after but we are seeing not only strokes but even heart attacks in younger individuals a lot so we don't have an option except to actually think about prevention or rather force prevention upon patients and people you know and somewhere i feel lifestyle is honestly the only way to do it because what is lifestyle lifestyle is your habits what you do on an everyday basis okay and when you talk about stroke diabetes and hypertension rather uncontrolled diabetes and uncontrolled hypertension are one of the known causes which will make the chances of you getting a stroke multifold and that is the biggest issue so a lot of youngsters know nowadays even a lot of youngsters so recently i spoke to 230 year olds with very uncontrolled diabetes you know and it's type 2 it's not like the typical jo bachcho wala type 1 it's not it's type 2 so when i speak to such a bunch of individuals i know at the back of the mind whether heart attack and stroke they are they are definitely prone to it you know so prevention is the only option that is there prevention or you can say you can postpone it even inevitably whatever you want to say but lifestyle is the only answer now why coaching is required because we know this we already know this we know that we are supposed to walk we are supposed to exercise we are supposed to eat well namak kam karna hai chini kam karni hai you know we know all these things but we still don't do it up until a point where something as dramatic as you know a stroke happens the way yashas went through it then we realize ke yaar we could have done this you know so if if you look at yashas what you are doing is constantly consistently you're making something a discipline and then you're doing it sustainably and monica was required to kind of put you know a little direction of course that guidance is required but a little bit of hand holding in that direction speed is not a criteria i don't think speed is something that we should run behind but the right direction and a little bit of hand holding up until a point it becomes more sustainable i think that is where the coaching fixin 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 perfectly i don't think we have a replacement for that